Oxytocin in canine labour, a life-saving tool or a dangerous shortcut? Oxytocin is a hormone naturally produced by a female dog's body and is one of the most powerful drugs we can use during whelping, but also one of the most dangerous if given incorrectly. It helps stimulate uterine contractions during the labour and helps with milk letdown after the birth. In veterinary medicine, it can be given as an injection to help with a stalled labour. If you're a breeder, you must understand when oxytocin is helpful and when it can put your whole litter at risk. If labour doesn't progress like the one you can see here, with strong contractions, and uterine inertia is suspected, your vet may consider using oxytocin. Used correctly, it can stimulate contractions in true uterine inertia and help expel retained placentas. But here's the danger, and it's a big one. Oxytocin is often given too early without confirming whether the next puppy is safely positioned for birth. Before giving oxytocin, a vet must use ultrasound to check for puppy viability, signs of distress, or a malpresentation that could be causing a blockage, then perform a vaginal exam to assess for any physical obstruction in the birth canal. Using oxytocin before ruling out a problem can do more harm than good. It may intensify contractions when what's really needed is intervention. I've known people lose entire litters and nearly lose their female dog too because someone reached for oxytocin before checking what was going on internally. Oxytocin isn't dangerous by nature, but it needs to be used with respect and only when it's the right tool for the right situation. If the female has stopped contracting and the scan is clear, oxytocin can absolutely help get things going but it's a finishing tool and not a starting point. Using oxytocin wrongly can cost you more than your litter. It can cost your entire breeding plan. If your female dog's uterus ruptures or she needs an emergency spay, that line is gone, protect it. Oxytocin is powerful, but your voice is more powerful. Don't be afraid to ask questions. The future of your breeding program could depend on it.